Hey folks, Sylvius here. I've got a new game today. Reseteer, an item shop's tale. I believe it was originally developed by Easy Game Station and it was localized and published in English by that name C-A-R-P-E-F-U-L-G-U-R that I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce because I know it's beyond me. Ah. Uh, this is a game that I actually insanely enjoyed uh, when I first encountered it. So I'm actually really excited to do a... Oh yeah. I'm really excited to do a Let's Play for it. Um, it does not use mouse controls, which means I actually kind of need to switch my setup here a little bit, get my keyboard in a slightly better position. So I'm going to go new game. I totally don't remember how this the controls work. Ah, there we go. Do, 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 do. By the way, I don't think there's much audio here, so I'll have to read these out. Oh, for the love of... She's still asleep. Does she really not understand how important today is? Murple. Can't eat another bite. But I can always find room for yummy candy. Mimble Wurble. Wake up, please. By the way, this is a Japanese game, so most of the small phrases that will come out uh, will be Japanese, like what she just said there. Although she does throw it, uh, some the little fairy tear also throws out some French every now and then. What? Woo! What? When's it? See. Oh, tear. Good morning. We do not have time for a good morning, Reset. Are you planning on spending the rest of your life dreaming of sweets? Today is the day we set to open up the store. Uh, we did? Oh yeah, we did. There you go. Murd. I don't know how exactly that's pronounced, but I'm just gonna go with Murdy. Murdy, of all the... You know, I'm actually gonna go pause and figure out how that's pronounced. Okay, the wonderful powers of Google have informed me that it's pronounced Merd. I can't really get the whole French accent thing going. I'm really sorry. I just can't do it. But mirrored. And then join me downstairs in the storefront. I didn't read what she said. My bad. Okay, I'll be right there. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. Okay, Tier, let's open the shop right now. Capitalism, ho! Patience, reset. It is a virtue you will need. We need to make, take care of a few matters before we open officially. Huh? Like what? Well, I somehow doubt that a store without anything to sell is going to attract all that much business. Uh... Oh yeah, we don't have anything to sell. So, uh, what do we do? To start with, we need to establish a stock of items for the store. If we have nothing to sell, we cannot claim to be much of a shop. That's true. Hmm. So where should we go to get stocked up? The best way, I think, would be to visit either the town market or the merchant's guild. We need to give our regards to the head of the guild regardless, so that should probably be our first stop. Ooh, that's the place run by that old guy, right? The guild operates as a wholesaler for local merchants, so if we stop by, we can purchase an initial stock. It would not hurt to gruff, er, give our polite regards to the guild chief either, especially since the guild is the organization that allows us to operate here in the first place. Okay, got it. Then let's go right now. When you want to leave the shop, head to the front door, currently located in the upper right-hand corner of the store. Aw, uh, but I want to leave through the window like an action hero. To eternity and... Reset! Hi. Okay. Alright, see how, uh... These are all dark. I'm pretty sure that means I can't go into them. Right, that is what it means. By the way, this whole game is played with the arrow keys, the Z, X, and C buttons, just for the record. So, seven buttons for the entire game. Uh, and then the flashing over the merchant scale means it's got, like, an event to it. Hello, konnichiwa means, uh, hello, by the way. Hmm, a girl and a fairy. You two are... Yes, you're reset. That lone... and that lone shark. Well, that's is not, well, an incorrect assessment. 
Could I ask that you refrain from calling me a loan shark? That's right, mister. She and I are partners, don't be mean. Ah, forgive me, forgive me. Partners it is. So, how are the preparations for running that shop coming along? Quite well, thank you. In fact, we plan on opening today, so we stopped by to order to show our gratitude for your help. Ah, very good. You two know what's what. If you have any problems, let me know. I'll be glad to help. We appreciate your kindness. Thank you. Hmm. We appreciate your kindness. Thank you very much. Not a problem at all. So, you came straight here to pick up some merchandise, right? Well, up to the counter, then. Let's get you two sorted. This is our first time stocking up. Our funds are limited, so do not go completely overboard. I recommend purchasing no more than ten items. K.O. Alright, before you... Alright, time to stock up a bit. Step up. Alright, uh, you can talk to this guy and he'll kind of tell you some stuff here. I'll try to limit it to the first three for now. Right, so a guild is essentially a group of people in the same kind of business who cooperate with one another. Since the prices on items can vary from store to store, it's hard to do business if there isn't a base price between them, right? That's what the Merchant Guild is for. We manage wholesale and keep prices stable throughout the city. That's why we require that everyone who wants to do business around here register with the Guild. Don't worry, your store receteer is already in the books. It ain't all just paperwork and red tape, though. Now that you're a member, you can pick up stock for your shop here and get access to a few other benefits, too. We're here to help, so feel free to make use of us, okay? Alright, so that was one. What can I do here? Here at the guild, you'll always be able to get goods for a set price. Most of what we can get our hands on is practical stuff, though. Weapons, armor, clothes, adventure necessities, and the like. The town's main market, who we work with, is where you can get things like foodstuffs, books, and other assortment of knickknacks. The really flashy and rare stuff is a bit out of our league. If you've a mind to get your mitts on that kind of stuff, you have to go dungeon stopping yourself, or buy it off a customer. Oh, we'll also buy off any excess stock you have. Mind you, we buy low as a rule, so if you want to make an actual profit, you're better off selling to your customers. Last question I'll ask him for today. Your merchant level is, well, your ability as a merchant. As it goes up, you'll figure out how to redecorate or even expand your store. Heck, you might even be able to convince me to let you have a look at some of our more uh, premium items. So how do you raise your level? Simple. Buy, sell, trade. This is an art, and you learn by doing. Alright. Now we'll buy stuff. Generally speaking, buying the more expensive stuff is better, because there's a limit to how many people will come into your store every day. So, I mean, you know, if you can only sell two items, selling two leather gloves for 140 versus selling one iron spear and one longbow is obviously better. That said, I only have a thousand picks at the moment, so I don't have a lot of uh, money to work with. So I'm kind of just buying things at random. Buy a, uh, let's see, there we go. And now I've got 20 bucks left. Right then, will that be all? Yep, this is perfect. We shall return when our stock runs low again. Ah, I'm looking forward to it. Here, a little something extra as a startup gift. Yay, what up, Red? Thanks a bunch. Alright, little lady, give him your all. Capitalism ho! Well, Adam Smith would be proud of us at any rate. This is a good game. I, I strongly suggest you, uh, you buy it. Very well, it's time to give you a crash course on the basics of running an item shop. Okay, what do I do first? First, we need to put some items on display. If we do not have our goods out for people to see, we can hardly expect the customers to buy them after all. So I just need to get near these counters. Just so, once you know where you wish to place something, choose what you wish to place in that spot by pressing the primary button. Primary button? You will understand when you try it, trust me. Now remember, what you place will affect how people perceive the store, so think carefully before you place something. Right. Now then, to start off, why not line up what we purchased on one of the counters? Okay! Set. May I speak with you a moment? Sure, what is it? Those counters by the windows. Items you place there are visible to anybody passing by on the street. As such, putting eye-catching items, the sort of things that make you think, I want to buy this more than anything, on those counters is a core principle of running a shop like this. In a very real way, those counters are the face of the shop. And what is placed there greatly affects interest in our business. So choose what you place there very, very carefully. Wow, I never thought about it like that. 
Okay, I'll be careful. There's actually a bit of depth to this, but for now, the important thing is the items on these uh, counters are more likely to be purchased than the items anywhere else. I do not believe... Okay, I still have the one on right. Alright, that should do for displaying our wares. Are you sure it doesn't look dumb? I... Do not worry. Everything looks good enough for a first attempt. Now I need to teach you how to actually sell things. Please go sit at the counter. Righto! By the way, we're kind of in like tutorial mode right now. Although, alright. I was gonna put the bread up top, but never mind. Well then, the items are in place, and now you need to learn how to actually sell things to people without embarrassing yourself. Okay, -o. So to start with, I will lecture on the actual process of selling an item we have displayed. Yes, Professor! If the students do not listen, they do not get any credit. Er, right. Now then, when a customer enters, be sure to greet them with a big welcome. Um, uh, welcome? Greeting the customer helps them feel comfortable and relaxed while in the store. Their comfort is fundamental to our business. Remember that as we continue. Now, a typical customer will find an item they want on our display, and then they will come over to the counter and pay for it. Let me demonstrate. Could I get this, please? Um, uh, uh... What they want will be in the target window. You will also be able to see the name and base price. Pay close attention to that base price. Also, if you press button 3, you can view expanded information on the item in question. Consult the custom.exe program included with rest sentence here if you wish to check or alter your button configuration. Wait, button 3? Custom.exe? Focus reset. Your life is hard enough to control as it is. Uh, okay. Now then, next you must decide what price you wish to offer. In general, you want to try and name a price higher than the base. Try name and price, if you will. Uh, let's see. Whoops. You likely notice that the base price serves as your default. To raise your offer, press up. Press up. Okay. Okay. Actually, before I do that. That's what happens when you push button 3. Longsword, equipable, swords, attack 14, base price, highest sale price, lowest sale price. A standard lightweight longsword, perfect for novices, learning the art of sword play. Right. Yes, very good. That is how you adjust your offer. As might be obvious, if a customer is satisfied with your offer, it's a sale and you get a little bit of experience along with the money. If your price is too high, however, a customer can simply walk out. Learning to determine the proper price, there lies the challenge. Now, if a customer disagrees with the price, but not so much, that they want to storm out, then you can negotiate. Remember what I said about comfort earlier? That is the key here. Offer a price, but but do not make it so outrageous that the customer feels that you are not acting in good faith. So if they disagree, but stay, offer a new price. Ideally, you will lower your offer a little, and they will take it and give you a sale. Some customers may be just trying to sniff out a better price, when they are really willing to pay your initial price, however. Whether or not you risk testing that possibility is up to you. How long can you keep haggling? Well, that depends on how regular a customer the person in question is. As we are starting out, you will not be able to haggle for very long, but after customers begin to trust us a little, you can haggle for longer periods of time. Well, time to put theory into practice. Um, okay. Ah, welcome. Can I get this, please? Okay, I pick a price, right? It needs to be higher than the base price. Up button. Uh... Let's go with that. At this level, you will likely end up haggling a little. Alright then, now for the fine art of haggling. Theoretically, what you wish to do is lower your price slowly, but as I mentioned, there's a limit to how long you can haggle. The ideal is to deduce the customer's desired price and go from there. You say deduce the price, the desired price, but how do I... A large number of stores sell at about 30% over base price. It is not a hard and fast rule, but people will usually accept that price. Usually. If you can manage to go over that, you'll make a lot of money, but you do not want to risk driving away a customer. Right then. So as I... As a customer, I am hacking. Could you make it a little bit cheaper? Okay, gotta make it cheaper, but not too much. So, Tier said about 130, and I went with 183. So let's drop to... 122. There we are. Reducing the price of this level makes a sale likely. Well, that covers just about everything. Now let us put the entire lecture into practice all at once. If you can sell me an item, you will be ready for what lies ahead. Let us begin. Hello, welcome to Rest Here. 
I would like this, please. Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much. Yay, I sold Steel Sword for 3,500 picks. Excellent, let us do that one more time, just to be sure. I would like this, please. That's go the opposite way. Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much. Yay, I sold a steel sword for 2,800. Expertly done. If you ever wish to practice again, simply ask me anytime we are in the shop. Do, 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 do. And that is essentially how it goes. You are quite good for someone who has never done this before. Eh, yeah, really? I'm not gonna say the laughter again, by the way. That sounded terrible when I did it. We still have a little bit of time left today, so let's go and open up the store proper. If anyone comes in, simply handle them in the same way that we just practiced. Whoa, are you sure it's, it'll be okay? Do not worry. As the saying goes, salesmanship is more of an art than it is a science. You learn as you go. Now then, I will open us up. Go on and sit at the counter. Okay, day. Hi there. Finally found it. I didn't expect to find it here. Hmm, alright, that seems about right. Now, you'll see, I just got 17 experience points over there, right? Unfortunately, I don't remember the exact numbers, but I think it was... You know... Well, I'll explain it later, actually. We'll get back to it. Congratulations, you did well! I sold stuff. I, me, Reset, I sold stuff, like, to people. Hey, Tear? I, I'm so happy I, I did it, Tear. I did it. Papa, I did it. And that's how we started running an item shop. I'll let her speak. Well, to explain that, you need to understand how Tyr and I first met. I guess I should have thrown it in afterwards. I didn't want to speak over her. That's whatever. Easy Game Station presents... A Tale of a Fairy? A Girl? I don't think there's any way for me to make this go faster. And how to run an item shop. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Reciteer. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Flashback time. Let's see. Yep, the counter says it's been three months since Papa left. I don't get why he suddenly said, I'm gonna be a hero. And then took off without saying when he'd be back. I really hope he's okay. I'm getting lonely. Well, I shouldn't worry too much about him. The best thing about him is how tough he is. He'll be okay. What? Papa wouldn't knock. Who is that? Hi. Yes, who is it? Huh? There's nobody here. Wait, what? At my feet. Good evening. Um, you are Mademoiselle Brissette Lemongrass? Um, Miss Fairy? Pardon me, but I am the one asking questions. Again, you are Reset Lemongrass? Uh, um, yes, I'm Reset. My name is Kier. I'm an agent of the Term Finance Company. Finance? Company? I'm here to collect payment on a loan paid out to your father. Here is the contract and my identification. Uh, loan? Repayment? I, uh... In plainer terms, I'm here to get ba our money back. If you are incapable of facilitating repayment, this house will be seized as collateral in order to repay the loan. Facilitating collateral... Seize? Ooh. But, but, but... I, but, I... Papa, Papa isn't... He's not here. Yes, I see that now. File photo. Monsieur Lemongrass disappeared following a fracas atop the local volcano, so we assume he might have returned here. Even if he has not, however, the contract covers this eventuality. Covers this? Quite. As the sole remaining member of this household, we shall require that you pay his debt in his debt. 
Huh? That's... How am I supposed to... I barely have enough money to live by by myself. Naturally, we're not demanding it all be repaid at once. There is still a small amount of time before any repayment is due. Therefore, am I going to get sold off in parts to distant foreign lands to repay Papa's debts? I wonder if I can survive with only two internal organs. Maybe if I eat a lot of spinach, that can replace my blood and... Oh, but I don't want to be a sailor. What am I going to do? Ahem. <laughs> By the way, that was a reference to Popeye the Sailor Man. I don't know if you got that. <clears throat> Please listen to me for a second. I have no clue where you're getting these ludicrous ideas from. But I would never do such a thing. Quite the opposite, in fact. I was sent here to ensure that you wouldn't have to resort to such, well, absurd methods to pay us back. But what? I have been sent to support you to the fullest of my abilities so that you may repay the debt via labor. What? But I've never worked a single day in my life. Experience has no bearing in this case. All that matters is whether or not you are willing to work. Aww. If you do not wish to work, then that is it. The house is terms. And I will have to ask you to leave the premises. As the saying goes, those who do not work do not eat. So, Miss Lemongrass, which will it be? Work or the house? I'll work then. Splendid. But I don't even know what I can do. Actually, I already have an idea on that front. You are aware, of course, that this city is an adventuring hub. In addition, this house faces out onto the main city lanes. Therefore, I propose converting the house into an item store. Item store? <laughs> what? Really? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Reset? Metamasia <sighs> Levengrass! I was only gone for a little while to do market research. Where could she have gone? <sighs> I'm being silly. Of course she fled. Why would she not? All I did was threaten to take away everything she had ever knew and loved. Asking her to turn the house into an item shop was foolish. Even if it was to repay the debt, the poor girl must be terribly confused. And on top of that, her father is probably... Wait, outside? Genius! It's done! Yeah. Hey, Tear! Look, it's done! What is that? It's our shop sign, of course. Doesn't it look cool? You can't be a shop without one of these, you know? Yes, well, it is however well made. However, hee <laughs> hee, I've always been good at making stuff. I gotta stop doing the laughter, by the way. But that, be that as it may, while the sign is nice, I... Hmm. Huh? Is there a problem? Well, the name. You are quite sure you have thought that through? Rissetier! Well, we're partners, right? You said so. So put Reset and Tear together, and Rissetier. Isn't it neat? Well, that is to say, the sentiment is commendable, but... It's the two of us opening the store, so the name should reflect that, right? You don't like it? Really, it's not that, but well, that is. Then it's decided. Reseteer ho! Reseteer. Mispronounce it even slightly in Reketeer. Racket. This job is gonna be even more absurdly difficult than I originally suspected, I fear. Reketeer! And so a fairy suddenly entered my life. One thing was for sure, this wasn't going to be dull. Murder. How is it possible to sleep this much each day? How? Mmm, dear. Mmm, let's do the very best we can. We're set! Wake up! Huh? What? How? Who's on first? Ohio. Oh, dear. Right. Good morning. The clock does not have a good morning yet. Reset. You are the proprietor of an item shop now. You must learn to be responsible and not sleep the day away. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> right. Why in the name of heaven are you smiling so much? That smile you had while sleeping is just getting bigger. Oh, no reason. I just think I saw something nice in my dreams. Dear, let's give it our all. 
Well, if you really are dedicated to making this work, wash yourself and meet me downstairs. Hi. Uh, will do. Do, do, do. Day two. <sighs> More events. So, I have an item shop and stuff, and it's all cool and awesome. So, uh, what do I do now? That is up to your judgment. If you sit at the counter, we can open immediately. Or we can reorganize the shop, or we could even go search for new stock around town or elsewhere. Yikes, that's a ton of options. How do I choose? And as I said earlier, running a place like this is more of an art than it is something you can simply follow a map through. Simply pick something, we will deal with what comes. Well, okay. Alright, so let me showcase a couple of things here. The things up here, like I said earlier, you can see how they sparkle, are more likely to be sold, and they also attract, attract certain customers. Like, certain customers are more interested in weapons, certain customers are more interested in, like, these jewelry-type things or armor. Some of them are more interested in food or books and things like that. Food up here is always a good option to get people in, because pretty much all the types of characters want food. Now, if you see, I don't have a cursor, so I can't actually uh, show anything. But if you see in the top left, it's got the, like, half circle with the clock arrow. It, the day is split into four part, parts, like morning, uh, like noon, afternoon, and evening, if you will. I think they actually have names, but I don't remember what they are. Um, oh, hey, I guess there is a fourth button, by the way. So certain things will take them here. Um, you can see how the only one glowing here is the Adventure Guild. I don't want to hit that right now. So if I go back into Reseteer right now, no time will pass, because I didn't actually do anything. However, if I go to the Adventures Guild, when I go back, one of the time slots will pass. Further, opening up the store will take a, a time block also. And as another thing, if let's say I needed to go to the Merchants Guild, and go to the market, and talk to the Adventures Guild people, that'll all only take one block. Talking to, et, uh, going anywhere will take one time, period. So it's best to do all of your talking at once. So I'll open up my store and see if what I can sell. Welcome! If you need anything, just ask! My daughter-in-law asked me to pick this up. Now, we'll point this out again. Just combo two. Uh, you know, I forget what it's called, but it's like how computers go 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and so on. Uh, every sale you make in a row gets you that uh, just cost. So now if somebody else wants to buy something from me here, good. Alright, and I sell this to him without having him haggle or reject the price. It'll go up to four here. Now, you skip the near print thing. Alright, so that time it went up to four. The next one will give me eight. And there's a base value of ten. Hopefully somebody else will come up. Good. Alright. So let's say I screw this one up by offering him this price. Okay? That price. Because why not? <laughs> it would go back down to ten, and I would lose that bonus. Now, if I sell this to him correctly, the bonus will go up to eight this time plus 10, so I get 18 points. You also saw, though, the near prim thing, which hopefully I can get again here. I didn't get it that time. Near prim means I offered him at the price very close to what he wanted to pay for. It. So let's say he wanted to pay 109%, and I offered him close to that. I, you get the near prim bonus, which was an extra 5. Or it technically replaces just the base value of 15. You could also look at it that way. There's also, if you get it just right, an actual bonus, but I forget what the value of that one is. Uh, Tier suggests at the beginning that you kind of aim high at that, like, 130, and then you haggle down. But haggling will interrupt that bonus, and the more of those points you get, the more experience, and the higher your little, um, your little, uh, merchant level goes. So you get more effects that way. Uh, and then also... You get more by just offering them the price they want in the first place, so even though I probably could have offered those old men maybe 120%, I definitely would not have gotten the near print books. 
Uh, so we're gonna go to the Merchant's Guild, and obviously, well, first I'll talk to this guy about the town. The city's getting a bit famous for the old ruins and the like that litter the surrounding countryside, so we've been getting a, seeing a steady stream of adventurer types coming in for a while now. They're all here to try and strike it rich off the undiscovered treasures in the wilds. Hunting for fat loot, they call it. Well, I don't know what they see in chasing after oversized loots, but their presence also has also brought a lot of new merchants to the city. I ain't sure won't complain. Business has never been better. If you're looking for one, hmm, a few might be resting at the plaza. I bet most of them will take the city's biggest puff, though. It's never too hard to sell those wandering types a little bit of liquid pleasure. Even I go in there for a little nip every now and then. The more faithful will probably hang out at the city chapel. We do get a few like that now and then on a pilgrimage or quest to find holy relics. Or er, praise be to the seekers and all that, of course. You might check the Adventures Guild proper, too. They're in charge of making sure the expedition efforts aren't a total bedlam. They even succeed, sometimes. Now, keep in mind that these places are only open at certain times. For example, the pub only opens up in the evening. We're pretty much open all the time, though. Wait. If you're always open, how do you find time to visit that pub? For that matter, when do you go home? Little Missy, if you had the kind of wife I do, you'd be at work or in the sauce at all hours, too. Man, forget I asked. Alright. Now, yeah, if I go back to the town, returning the shop will take one time here. So let's check out the market here. You can buy some stuff here. Kinda wanna buy some cheaper stuff, although that's a little bit too cheap. We'll buy a book. Apple. Maybe a candy. Alright, let's see what he's got here. Buy a wooden bow. I don't have enough for the laundry bow. Rainfall! Alright, I'll store up by the rest of my money. And we'll also stop by the Adventurer's Guild here. Say, what's this place? This is the Adventurer's Guild. The guild manages expeditions to the various untamed wilderness areas or abandoned ruins near the city. The area is commonly referred to as dungeons. Without approval, adventurers cannot visit the dungeons. Oh, nuts. So we can't just go into a dungeon and pick up everything we see? If we could do that, we could sell everything we get at 100% profit. It is still a very good idea. A great many people have made fortunes that way. If you wish to do so, however, you must first hire an adventurer. Hire? Can I just pick anybody? The truth of the matter is a bit more complicated. Even if you pay them, few adventurers are willing to risk their lives simply for the benefit of a complete stranger. Oh, so they turn away people they don't know very well? Indeed. You should first get to know a few adventurers and build up a certain level of trust with them. If all goes well, they will give you the symbol of their guild membership. This usually takes the form of a card. With that in hand, we can bring an adventure with us. So it's like they're inviting us to a dinner party. Well, dinner parties usually do not include blood-mad beasts attempting to rip you limb from limb. But that analogy does work. Somewhat. Right, so first I need to meet an adventure. Hmm. Which for us should not be that difficult, yes? After all, we run an item shop, so we should get a few coming in as clients on a fairly regular basis. Oh yeah! Well then, I'll do my best to get a dinner invitation. Indeed, just be careful that Reset is not on the menu. Huh? Is something wrong? Well, that guy over there. Listen to me. If I can't work, I can't get the money. And if I can't get the money, I can't get the items. And if I can't get the items, apparently I can't work. Ugh! Heaven! If I had a few things, I could at least visit the Hall of Trials. I wonder what's going on. He seems to be a rookie adventurer, complaining about his inability to complete the required guild test. Test? Well, the guild hardly allows anyone in off the street. You can only work officially for the guild after passing a test. An item shop owner is hardly the only job with challenges. Hmm, I have an idea. What? I do believe we have found our first adventure. Wait, what do you mean by, uh, Tyr, wait! <laughs> Son of a... I burned what cash I had just getting into the city. If I can't get into that guild, I don't know what I'll even do for dinner money. Now I'm hungry. Great. Pardon me a moment. You there, adventurer with the seedy luck. Who are you calling seedy? They're, uh, well, you two would be 
We are a pair of merchants who happen to be passing... Merchants? Oh, you heard me talking. Sorry, but I'm way too broke and seedy to buy anything. Believe me, I could tell that by your seedy nature that you were attempting to sell you anything would be a colossal waste of time. Come on, Tyr, stop with the seedy already. He isn't a plan. So are you two going to prune me or what here? Would you like it if we came with you to the Hall of Trials? If you require equipment or items, we can provide them. I'd call you a pair of angels then, but why? Business, naturally. We help you pass the trial and you provide us with your card. Oh, I get it. We help Mr. Swordman clear the dungeon, and then he gives us his card, a sign of our eternal friendship. Eternal friendship is rather irrelevant in this case, but it does work out neatly for all of us. What do you say? I see, you guys are pretty new at all this. Too, huh? Our offer, Mr. Swordman. Yes or no? Yes. Alright then, heck, I've got nothing to lose. Well, aside from my precious life, anyway. Yay, vacations! Glad to meet you two. Uh, I'm Reset. Nice to meet you. I'm Tyr. Uh, Call me Louis. Louis. Louis the Swordsman. Good to meet you. Yes, yes. Now then, we'll begin all the preparations for a dungeon visit, including a visit to the central market to pick up food and other restorative items. We will then return here for you when we are ready. Right, I'll be waiting here. I will not go into the, uh, dungeon today. Just for that. So now the sun has gone down. Apple up there. There's no reason to not load up all the items on the shelves. Assuming, you know, I had enough items. Just for the Hello, oh, welcome to rest here. This is for my brother. A little girl usually doesn't have that much money. Okay. Near me. By the way, all of the people have different amounts of money, and uh, they have a, like, how much they like you, which determines how much money they bring in. So sometimes they'll per they'll ask an item, let's say hypothetically they have a maximum buying power of 500 gold. Sometimes they'll pick up an item for 490, and even though they would normally be willing to pay, let's say, 530 for that, they don't actually have 530, so they'll say no. So it's not always good to buy the most expensive items and try to sell those. Soon, I'm gonna level up my- there we go. Oh hi, welcome. This is a present for mommy. Well then, you seem to have developed a basic understanding of how to sell things to people and not drive them to burn the shop in anger. Yep, baroni! Easy as pie. Being a truly great store owner involves more than selling things, however. There are times when people will want to sell items to you as well. Really? I suspect we'll begin to get such offers soon. But I already buy stuff from the guild and the market, so why should I worry about buying stuff from the customers? There's one major difference between a guild and a market purchase, and a purchase from an individual. Individuals do not have set prices. In other words, you can haggle as you do when selling. Haggle down, that is. Ooh, so I can get stuff really cheap? But that seems like it'd be pretty hard. Fundamentally, buying and selling are not that different. The customer shows you an item they wish to sell, and then you set a price and perhaps negotiate. Obviously, you wish to pay less than the base price of an item. Okay, so buy low, sell dear, right? Just so. That is the very core of a successful business. Now then, shall we practice? The fundamental procedure is the same as when selling. Kyo! Welcome to Risk Tier. Would you buy this from me? Uh, okay, need to name a price lower than the base price. So, uh, think, press down. Come on, me, you can do this. So what should I get it to? I think the, the like, perfect amount is around 66. Usually you can do about 50 to 70, though, is a good amount. Excellent, this is a good price level. Now then, let's practice haggling over the price a little. The concept is essentially the same as selling something. Now that you have offered a price you believe to be fair, adjust your offer until they agree to sell you. Okay, let us begin again. Could you offer me a little more? I think it's worth a lot. Okay, so I need to set a higher offer in price. Yes, between 50 and 70% of the base is a good target. You will gain an item to sell without giving up too much money, and that is essentially how it goes. You seem to have a decent enough grasp. Well, let us put theory into practice again. I will sell you several items. If you buy them from me successfully, I believe you will be ready to proceed. Well, let us begin. Hello, welcome to Rissetir. What would you be willing to pay for this? 
go with, uh... Here we go. Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got a candy apple for that much money. Yes, hold on. Let us do that one once more. Hello, welcome to Rest Here. What would you willing what would you be willing to pay for this? Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much. Yay, got Tayaki for 700 picks. Very, very good. You are ready. If you ever wish to practice again, simply ask. Now I want to put this up here, because it's a little bit better of a spot. Alright, I have nothing else to put up there. Hello, welcome to Rest Here. You have one of these? It's lucky day for both of us then. Alright, I'll take that, Bryce. That was the only thing I saw. Thank you for all your hard work. You also did well. Yeah, yeah. So you can kind of see my score, stuff like that, what I sold. And now we're on day three. Hopefully there's not a lot of uh, cutscene right here, because I was planning on uh, pausing or saving and ending the video soon. Reset, may I have a moment, please? Sure, what's up? Concerning the debt, I have a suggestion concerning its repayment. You do? Paying it all back at once is wholly beyond your means, so I recommend smaller weekly payments to slowly chip away at it. Wholly beyond? Uh, you know, you never told me how big Papa's debt is exactly. That is because you would faint if you found out. For now, it is a secret. I... faint? As the store begins to build up steam, we will increase payment sizes. Do, 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 do. The repayment date nearest to the current date, along with the amount due, will be displayed on the calendar in the main menu. Please be sure to check it regularly. Okay, uh, I'll keep an eye on it. Alright. There we go. So yeah, I have, uh, today's the third. I've got until the eighth to get 10,000 picks. For now, though, I will save. I don't want to save over any of my games, so I'll just save over option three here. Alright, folks, so this is Reseteer. Uh, I don't know how much it is these days, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's on Steam and probably other places. It's a really good game. I suggest you check it out, and I'll keep doing my playthrough with it. It's a shame, though, that there was a lot of, like, uh, cutscene-ish stuff, and you weren't really able to see a lot of the play, but try it. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe.